Hello guys and welcome back. So now in this video we will allow the player to pick up different types of items. So first of all we're gonna add the shotgun. So for that if we open up this Granny 3 shotgun, click on its source, here is the shotgun. Drag and drop it right here. Okay, here it is. If you check its FPX it's right here the scale factor is 30 okay so make sure that you resize this short uh, shotgun according to your own game size all right i'm gonna just leave it on 30 and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna place this on the ground let me rotate it like this and then let's move it down to the ground all right then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a box collider to it so add a box collider to it then resize this box collider according to the rifle body all right now let's move this one right here and then this one right here all right and make sure that it covers the whole shotgun that is all we have to do then after the box collider let's add a rigid body as well and then we need to add a tag to it so i'm gonna add a tag right here name this as rifle and then add the rifle tag to the shotgun that is it you can edit the box collider and move it up there all right now once you add the shotgun now let's add one more item which will be the X or uh, also the television which we will be picking up and right down below the television there will be a password so we need to create a category for that the first category is keys the second one is rifle and now the third one will be other objects all right so for that what we're gonna do is let's first of all add the X so I'm gonna add this X bloody let's for example add it right here for now and we can rotate it to that side then make the rotation x as 180 then move it to the ground like this and make sure it is inside the key holder after this we need to add a box collider as you can see the box collider fits the whole X then we need to add the rigid body and also the tag so for this one we will create a tag by the name of other objects click on X and add this other objects tag alright so now if you want to add some other rifle just add it make sure to add a box collider to it and a rigid body to it and apply the rifle tag to it and if you want to add other keys then the same procedure but the tag should be pick up item all right and if you want to add some other objects then just make sure to add other objects tag and then a box collider and a rigid body that is all you have to do for this now uh, the player will not be able to pick up the shotgun or the x now because we don't have that in our code so now let's go ahead and work on our script so first of all we need to create a item hold position 2 for the uh, shotgun or you can say for the rifle so name this as item hold position 2 and for the x we need to create one more so i'm going to copy it and paste it and this time change it to 3 
and also we need to create one more bool which will be by the name of is rifle then we need to scroll down to the try pickup and in the try pickup what we're gonna do now we're gonna copy this if condition and paste it right down below and change this to else if so else if now if the compare tag is rifle then is key will be false and is rifle will be true because now the player pick up a rifle and let's do it for other objects as well so I'm gonna copy this else if paste it right down below and change this to other objects and when we pick up other objects we should make the is rifle false as well okay because it is some other object now then in the pickup we need to set up the position for the key and now for the rifle so we will paste it and change this to else if now if the is rifle is active then we will set the player as a parent and item held position and rotation will be equals to the item hold position 2 all right then if it is some other object so for that we will add else condition and we're gonna copy this and paste it in here and change this to 3 and this one to 3 as well then if we scroll down in the drop item when we drop any item we set the is key to false now we need to also set the is rifle to false okay that is all we have to do for this now if we get back right here we have item held position one let's duplicate it two times let's name this one as two and this one is three all right then click on player add the second position and then the third in there that's it now if we go ahead and play the game all right if we pick up this as you can see it is picked up but if you notice the shotgun is not in the right position so we need to set up position for the shotgun unlock the cursor click on scene view get back right here all right select the shotgun okay and rotate it on this side then rotate it like this make sure it is fully straight all right it is not so i'm gonna just straight it up like this okay now as you can see it is straight and also in the right position but we just need to rotate it a little bit like that and that is it all right now before stopping the game select the shotgun click on this three dots uh, actually not that three dots right here in the transform three dots click on copy component copy two times just to be make sure that it is copied then select the item hold position 2 and click on paste component values that is it now if we go ahead and play the game again pick up the shotgun here it is all right now if you drop it there it is now if you go ahead and pick up the x the position for the x is also not set up so let's set this up now simply unlock the cursor click on scene view okay here it is select the x spread it up like this and then like this Okay, make sure it is facing up like this alright so now you can select the X 
click on three dots copy component as you know we need to copy it two times just to be make sure then stop the game select item held position three and click on paste component values that is all we have to do now we can go ahead and play the game again here is the shotgun we can drop the shotgun go ahead pick up the key we can pick up the key and drop the key we can pick up the x and that is it all right we can drop the x as well and you can pick it up again drop it again so now we are able to pick up different types of items and with this turn let's end this video right here